Hello and welcome to Sport of Business, where we're joined today by Sarah Healy, who captured the heart of the nation over in Tokyo over the summer and is now getting ready to do so again in the Spa European Cross Country Championships, which are going to be held at the Sport Island campus on December the 12th. You're very welcome to Sport for Business, Sarah. Hi, thanks. Thanks for having me. <laughs> You are well used now to traveling overseas for the big events and jumping onto aeroplanes when most of us haven't had that pleasure over the last couple of years. What does it mean to have a major European championship still coming to home? Um, it's so exciting to have it coming to Ireland. I mean, I was so excited in last year when it was meant to be on in, in 2020. Um, I think, I mean, it's obviously nice not to have to travel, but more just, I, I've never my like even my family like they never see me run like this summer they they never got to see me race and um I think for everyone involved it's just so nice to have it at home to have the support especially for cross country because there's so many of us like the teams will be big there'll be so many Irish athletes running so hopefully everyone's family and friends will be there to watch and it's it's also the type of event where you really need the support because it's really hard and um yeah so I think it's so exciting and it's a great event to have in Ireland it's it's really I think Ireland does cross-country events well and it's sort of like an Irish I kind of associate it with Ireland and um yes it's just so exciting <laughs> it's a it's it's a tough enough track I've uh, I've walked it I haven't run it I've, I'm, I'm guessing that you have run it as you as you went through uh, the underage um you know career that, that you've had how does it compare to some of the other cross-country tracks that you might have raced on over the course of your um yeah well I, I've actually only raced one cross-country race abroad in my in my career so far so all of my experience is really in Ireland um and I raced in Abbottstown a good few times but not not recently and not as long as not as long a distance as I'll have to do this year um but I think it's I mean I think it's um a, a, it's an exciting like track and I mean there's like a lot it's there's hill there's kind of there's everything but not too much of anything and it can be kind of mucky or dry I guess it depends on the weather and um I think it'll be like unpredictable and um you know maybe some of the other countries will be sort of surprised by it it's not maybe it's not like the typical course they've seen before so I think you know it's exciting and um if there's spectators there it's going to be it's going to feel like an even better course a little bit of hometown advantage never goes amiss. Um, you didn't have that in Tokyo over the summer. If I could bring you back there briefly, the um, your your performance uh, on the track, but especially in the interview with David Gillick, was one of the abiding memories of the uh, of of the games. And it was kind of tough to watch. I'm pretty sure it was uh, it was tough to do as well at the same time. Can you can you think back to the emotion at the time and and just you know sort of put it into context with uh, you know with what you actually went through while you were out there? Yeah, um, it's so so many people mentioned the our talk to me about the interview and and I just I I I did not think I had said any anything interesting at all. Like I was the whole time in that interview, all I was thinking about was trying to not cry in front on TV. Um, but I managed to literally, I just held them back. Then my voice kind of wobbled at the end. Um, but I think I was, I was very, I am quite emotional. And I think talking to someone after a race is like the most emotional time ever. So I was just kind of saying how exactly how I felt. I guess I just didn't hold back. Um, and yeah, I was like in that moment, I was completely devastated. Um, and obviously like looking back, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. Like, you know, when you're in there, you can't think about anything else. You're so like only focused on that. And you just can't believe it. Um, you can't believe that it didn't go well. And I suppose I just felt like, I can't believe that's it. That's over. And I just, I really didn't feel like I had done myself justice or even, I felt like I hadn't even put myself in it at all. So, you know, I was like devastated and it took me a while to get over it or, you know, a few days to get over it. But, um, like you have to just obviously move on and learn from it and you know be proud I was proud that I was there and that I all the work I did to get there so yeah <laughs> you can't be too sad for too long. I, I spoke to David Gillick after he came back and he commented as well about the fact that, of, that it was uh, something which was hard and he could see uh, just how emotional you were and, and how difficult it was but you're right you move on it's uh, you know sport is great for always having something coming up around the corner what is the preparation going to be like now for you getting ready for Abbottstown in December? 
Um, well, I, I had quite a long track season, so I, I kept going after the Olympics and I only finished up in September. So then I took a break, well, just a short break and I'm back training now. So I haven't, you know, I haven't thought too much. I mean, I'm obviously very much aware of the uh, European cross country happening and I know when it's happening, but at the moment I'm more just focused on like getting fit, getting as fit as I can and getting back into like consistent training because I mean that's what you'd be doing at this time of year anyways and I just yeah I just want to train um consistently get as fit as possible stay injury free and then I guess just you know see where I see where I am you know when the time comes and hopefully I'm well prepared at that stage um but at the moment it's 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 more just about it's nothing fancy it's just training and a lot of hard training <laughs> Is it hard to transition between track and cross country? Because I know that pretty much all of the athletes do it, but the underfoot conditions, the the whole setup of the racing is so completely different. It's almost like, you know, playing football one week and hurling the next week that it's just a, you know, a real challenge in your head as well as in your, uh, as well as in your feet. How do you find that? Um, yeah, I, I suppose it, I mean, it is, it's totally different. Um, and I, I haven't raced cross country the last few years, so it'll you know it, it it'll be different for me. But I've always really enjoyed it, and I think it's nice. You know, this time of year it can be really hard when you're just training away. Like, so it's nice to have something to focus on, something to break it up. And I personally really enjoy the change. I think sometimes when you're on the track, it it's so like time. You know, you're obviously racing, but with like qualifying times and trying to PB, you're like so focus on times and like the margins are so small and even when you're training there's just there's so much of that and it does get like tiresome at the end of a long track season so for me like I get excited about the cross country because the thoughts of you know the thoughts of racing 6k on the track I'm like oh my god I could never do that but on like a cross country course when you know no one's timing you and you're just kind of going as hard as you can I think that's a really refreshing like it's something very refreshing and it's a nice difference um from the track and I guess all the different conditions and underfoot and everything they probably just make it more interesting and maybe make it harder to kind of you know you might beat someone that you on paper you shouldn't but you're just better at on that course on that day so it just makes it exciting brilliant well we look forward to being out there cheering you on and uh, and the very best of luck in, in making Thank sure you. that you do prepare to give it your best shot uh, Sarah Healy uh, our athletes from Team Ireland competing in the Spa Cross Country European Championships. Thanks very much for joining Thank us you. today. Thank you.